Wonder Hussy here. I'm headed out to explore an abandoned mill up in the mountains. I got a tip from one of my viewers. I was out there earlier this year. Uh, I shot a video at a ghost town up there and one of my viewers emailed me saying, oh what, you didn't go all the way to the mill? Well, come to find out, there's a mill supposedly a little bit farther down the road from where the ghost town was. So I'm here with my friend Larry. Mill. Eminence Front X5 on YouTube and we're gonna try to get to this damn mill today. Yes. We have all the directions mapped out. I got my road atlas. I think we're uh, we're in pretty good shape. We just gassed up here in Beatty at Eddie World. And uh, we got snacks, drinks. Larry's wearing his Rachel hat. We are ready to go. Got the do. Let's do it. <laughs> We went as far as the road would go, and it wasn't really that rough of a road, but it eventually became strewn with boulders to the point where we really couldn't continue, and I wouldn't even really call it a road now. It's more of a gully or a wash, and it doesn't look like anyone has been up here for years. We parked the car, and we're just going to hike on foot the rest of the way, and we're super excited. Larry is especially excited because he, if there's one thing Larry loves, it's mills. Mills. Yeah, and this is um, the mill of all mills, apparently. So we're just going to hike up. It's only about a quarter mile, so I'll catch up with you when we get there. You don't even see tracks from like a quad or a side-by-side -side or anything. Like not even off-roaders have been up here in a long time. This is my favorite kind of place to explore. A place that no one has been to in a long time. You know, a lot of places I go is beer cans and shotgun shells and graffiti and, you know, a lot of other explorers and off-roaders have been there and those places can be really cool but there's nothing like being the first to penetrate a virgin site oh man holy cow i was yakking so much i didn't even notice there off to my left there she blows the mill this place looks amazing Okay, I actually kept walking past the mill site because there's a lot of other interesting stuff ahead on this road, <laughs> including this really creepy mine attic. Let's see if we can see anything inside this attic. It's gonna be pretty dark and it's gated off, but I did bring my little flashlight with me, so I might be able to see something with it. <laughs> By the way, I know I've mentioned this flashlight before in my videos and I can't recommend it enough. It's called an Olight. I have three of them. I have the, the really big one and I have a medium sized one and then this little baby purse one. It's kind of the cute little girly one. But even for only being, you know, two inches, it really works well. That's what she said. Anyway, I'll put a link to this in the description of the video. So if you're on the market for a flashlight, I, I'm serious, dude, these Olights are amazing. <laughs> I don't know, my flashlight won't even really help here because you can see way, 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 way in the back there. I think it goes around a corner. And, but see, this little tiny flashlight, this little guy, even lights up the back wall. It's pretty impressive. And I don't even think it's on the high setting. There we go. Not bad. Huh, all right, well, I can't really get in there because this thing is very securely fenced off. But I wanted to at least take a look. But now let's hike back down over to the mill. Okay, so we're approaching it from the backside here. And on the way up, I just happened to notice there's really not a lot of litter up here, like I said, because it's so hard to get to, but there is this old beer bottle, which I'm not a beer drinker, but the shape of that bottle looks pretty old to me, huh? Okay, here's an old can. Look at this. <laughs> oh, wow, we might even be able to make out what it was. Oh yeah, look, there's a Dr. Pepper. Dang. Please don't litter. Dispose of properly. Man, they've been saying that for 30, 40 years and apparently people aren't listening. A lot of old cans strewn about here, but I'm more interested in what's in this cabin. Just hiked up that hillside and now I'm up top here where this creepy cabin is. So we'll go look in there. Even though it says danger, keep out. We'll be real careful. Okay, so first let's go in here. Looks like it houses or housed some kind of machinery. So uh, it's probably just uh, built for that purpose. If you're into old machinery, you hit the jackpot here. Look at this. Larry's down the hill doing his thing. So unfortunately he's not around here to tell us what everything is. He's cool to travel with because he's he's got that interest in engineering and 
mechanical stuff and he knows what all these things are. Which I don't, but I just like poking around him and trying to figure it out. Look at this. Uh, lever stuck, rusted shut. And then look at this creepy chair sitting. I guess that's where the guy sat who operated it. <laughs> looks like maybe the guys would take a break up here and hang out. This looks like an old seat from a car. But, you know, need a place to sit down, take a break, smoke a cigarette, whatever. Oh, wow, look over here, a bunch of shoes. Work boots. Oh, man, some poor miner's old work boot. Oh, holy cow, this thing is stiff and old. And then look at these. It's almost like a... It's like a wing tip, almost like a Chuck Taylor steel toe. <laughs> Stylish work boot. That's cool. Oh, you hear that? Sound of rain on a tin roof. There's nothing like it in the world. I better put my rain jacket on. Let's see what's over here, because it's like a, it's a grate in the ground that we can look down. Oh, it's a hopper. Man, it doesn't go down very deep, but huh, interesting. Wow, look at the rust on it. I think we should walk along one of these and then look at the view. Yikers. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. And here we are. Wow. Wait, here's a great overview of the site we're about to explore. It's so interesting how everything's wet from the rain. You don't see that a lot in the desert. Although, again, I'm not sure. This qualifies as desert. Oh, it looks like there's a trailer or something way off in the distance there. You know I'll be checking that out. Oh, look at it. You know what? This rain makes everything kind of tricky because it makes it slippery. I'm not used to that. Hardly ever rains out here. I don't know if I've ever done an explore in the rain. Oh, wow. Look down there. The ladder that goes way down. Oh, hold on. Let me get a better angle on it and show you guys. I want to drop my camera. That would be a disaster. Oh, wow. Let me get my little flashlight. Look at that. Dang, I sure would like to go down there. But I don't have a respirator with me, and it's also gated off, graded off. Dang it. Can you imagine the working down there? That would have been terrifying. And that's not like, you had to climb up and down that ladder. You had to be in good shape, too. And look how the ladder, I don't know if you can see, it kind of curves as it goes down there. Okay, now we're moving on into the, I guess, sort of central area. There's a lot to look at here. Something I'm sure you guys will be interested in is this engine here. Again, no idea what it is, and Larry has wandered off, so... Case! <laughs> Look, the firing order was 1342. Hmm. Ooh, it doesn't smell very good around here. It smells like wet, toxic chemicals. Ugh. I mean, earlier it smelled amazing because of all the sagebrush. Like, all this stuff smelled really good in the rain, but... Then you layer the smell of wet, toxic abandoned basically litter it kind of puts a damper on things okay so that this is that hopper that we were looking down on from above looks like there was a conveyor belt that led out of it and that conveyor belt went to this i guess there's a big enclosed building here that we'll go in and that'll be nice because we'll be out of the rain look in here huh. there's a little wooden staircase going down here let's take these stairs Make sure they're solid. Oh, yeah, they're solid. Holy wow. This place is a disaster. But it's just the kind of beautiful disaster I love to go poking through. Just duck down. Wow, we're in, you guys. We're in the belly of the beast. Look at these cool wheels. I mean, these look like they were coated with something, and now it's all and oh god I really shouldn't touch this but I'm a tactile person oh, wow. it peels off weird Ugh. probably gonna grow an extra finger now this reminds me a lot of that uh, old quicksilver mine or quicksilver mill I explored I think I called it abandoned toxic 1990s ghost town that place was amazing and this place reminds me of it who goes there uh-oh, it's Larry. He's shooting a video for his channel, and I'm shooting a video for my channel. Imagine that. How meta is this? Hey, look at this. <laughs> the froth paddles. <laughs> that sounds vaguely sexual. <laughs> like something you would buy in a S&M store. 
Oh, look, speaking of S&M, Master Box. Oh, here we go. Lalami Fancy Pineapple Slices in its own juice. No sugar added. Okay, that looks old. Uh-oh, look. An old dust calendar. Oh, and it's on top of a... Oh, wow. It's on top of an old blackboard, chalkboard. And I don't know if you can make this out because it's very faintly written in chalk. It says, don't drink any water from mill pipe. And it's double underlined. <laughs> hey, you don't need to tell me that twice. I wasn't about to drink any water here anyways. Okay, interestingly, this desk calendar is out of Vegas. U-Haul from Las Vegas. It doesn't say what year it's from, though. Oh, 1974. Oh, my God. Oh, well, look, there's some... Um, I think that's grapefruit juice can. I remember seeing those same cans down in the little ghost town here when I was here. And then this is a... Oh, it's kind of like a Roper-style cowboy boot, I guess. Wow, look at this miner's hard hat, man. <laughs> it actually got busted and he had to stitch it back together. Dang, you would think whatever hit him that hard would have killed him. Ugh, I wouldn't want to wear that now. So much random junk just thrown in a pile. I mean, I don't understand if this was a mill, because then there's lumberjack syrup, I guess it was called. Let me see the other side. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Lumberjack. Oh, man, now I want pancakes. I might have to stop at Denny's and Beatty on my way home. Uh, honey, I mean, there's all this food up here. Who eats food in a place like this? So even though there's all this crazy crap on the floor, the trick is to try to zoom in on certain things that catch your eye that look very interesting. Like, well, now we can try to guess what year it was. Chevy basket, server lift, 27 foot was 12,500. Well, it had to be old. Oh, first of all, this was from Al Asher and Sons in LA. That's apparently some kind of like car. What do they call that? Auto trader kind of a deal. Yeah, because look, public auction for cars. Auction. Oh, wow. Jacksonville, Florida. Maybe it was nationwide. Hmm, let's see. Oh, look. April of 81. Okay, here's something else I found in the rubble that I thought was cool. It's an old, I'm assuming maybe an ice bucket from an old travel lodge. Your travel lodge is pleased to provide this sanitary type ice service tub for your use. Interesting, because now it's all plastic ice tubs and they just give you that little plastic bag to put in it. I guess back in those days, they used a real waxed cardboard. Classy. Okay, I'm going to keep on moving through this doorway, see what's in this room. It's like maybe it was some kind of little office or something. Oh, I had a sink, hand washing station. Oh, I guess maybe this is where they cook the uh, flapjacks and whatnot. <laughs> oh, look. A conference on the Holy Spirit from Oral Roberts University from September 1980. Yikes. Old clothes in here. Weird. It's almost like someone was squatting in here. Mm -mm. How'd you like to drink that? Hey, that was probably better to drink than the water. You know what I mean? Remember we saw that blackboard that said, do not drink the water? Well, look what it says right here above the sink. Do not drink this water. And then above it, it says again, don't drink. Oh my gosh, and then look up here. Poison, yikes. Some kind of, oh, cooling system cleanser. Oh, I would want to drink that. I can't imagine that this was a kitchen though, because you can't drink the water. I'm assuming you couldn't have cooked with it. Ron Coburn, Insurance Real Estate, March 76, 77. Oh, I see it was the 77 calendar, but December 76 was on there. Crazy. Oh, uh, gee, you know how I was just saying I couldn't go down that shaft because I forgot my respirator? Look, a respirator! I'm gonna guess that it's probably really gross and doesn't work anymore but it's funny there just happens to be one laying here see that even has a spare filter i don't know what this was it's like a magnet or something it's a really heavy piece of metal yeah interesting look at all these weird little cuttings i don't know what those are okay before we get out of here there's a few other interesting things i thought we should check out first of all 
your 1956 federal income tax forms. Well, this guy paid them on March 4th. Oh, wow. I feel like this was long enough ago that I can show this guy's name. George Wood out of Goldfield, Nevada. Poor guy. Paid his taxes, but he kept the t Form 1040. I'm kind of curious to see how complicated taxes were back then. I'm sure they were just as bad as they are now, if not worse. I mean, look at the tax table for calendar year 1956. Oh my god. So let's just go all the way to the very high end here. If your income was at least $2,300, but less than $2,325, blah, 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 blah. Oh god, it's too complicated. I can't even tell what you owe. Oh man, I say this in a lot of my videos, and it definitely applies here. Some things never change. Okay, so back out of that little annex, back through here. Now we got to go down there to the kind of like a tri-level thing right we came in up there on the upper deck we just explored the central deck now let's go down below decks there's really not much down here in the way of interesting artifacts to poke through so we'll do a quick tour ow god i gotta watch my head it just bonked it on <laughs> that pipe ow maybe that's what happened to that guy with the busted hard hat <laughs> wow look at that Stone wall down there. So cool. So old. I wonder when this mill uh, started its operation. I mean, I'm guessing it probably went until we saw that one thing from 1981. But some of this stuff looks pretty old. By the way, all these footprints are from Larry. If you noticed those, I haven't seen anyone else's footprints. I mean, a few beer cans and there's a water bottle down there, but. It doesn't seem like a lot of explorers get up this way. That seems like all this metal must be worth some kind of money for scrap. You go down these stairs carefully. They're kind of, whoa, this one's real busted. Yikes. By the way, I'd like to mention that this episode of Wonder Hussy Adventures is brought to you by Michael, a generous fan who sent me some money to my PayPal, and it was enough for me to fill my gas tank to get out here. So, Michael, if you're watching this, I sincerely appreciate your assistance, and as does everyone else. Okie dokie. Well, I'm going to make my way out of this enclosed building now. The rain let up. And we're going to go out here. I really want to go try to find that trailer. By the way, I get a lot of emails from people saying that I should do uh, live streams while I'm exploring these places. Well, there's one huge problem with that, and that is there's zero cell signal out here, let alone Wi-Fi. So there's no internet. I wouldn't be able to unless I went to some place that was, you know, in the middle of civilization. And where's the fun in that? So I do plan to start live streaming, but it'll be more of a Q&A type thing where I do it, I don't know, from my house or something. So stay tuned for that. Let's go up here and check this out. Okay, so I had to bushwhack a little bit to get through all the sagebrush. But I came up onto this little wooden deck with these. I, mean, I guess it's just a bunch of holding tanks. Probably not anything in there. And it's kind of a narrow squeeze through here, but I'm very, I'm pretty skinny. We'll fit through. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I mean, there's really not a whole lot to look at. Old wooden ladder. Look at the roof, a little dormer window. <laughs> That's what we were just in exploring. That building was a lot of fun. Okay, now back to this around it. I'll shoot it from all angles so you guys can check it out. American continuous filter. It's a filter. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you can definitely see it's a filter because this stuff actually has almost like an elegant design to it. I like it. It goes all the way up there. It's connected to that arm. God, this must have been an unholy racket when this place was in operation. All this stuff banging and clattering. <laughs> Oh, look, here's a piece of the filter that came off, so you can see what it looks like underneath. It's like corrugated wood. Weird. Oh, wow, yeah, definitely wood, because look at this filter caught fire. The filter burned up. Yikes, I guess that happened because they didn't clean it properly. There's one more little shack over here I wanted to check. It's pretty small. There's not much in here, just... Oh, paint thinner, lacquer thinner, whatever. And then this awesome <laughs> jug of Italian colony. I'm gonna guess that's some jug wine. Oh my god. Okay, look at this though. <laughs> like some kind of furnace. 
Let's see what this was. That looks like it was pretty hot at one time. Dang. Holy wow. Let's see if we can see back in there. Oh yeah, look. It's like a big kiln. You can see here. Temperature gauge for it. I mean, this place is a lot of fun to explore. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of you are getting a lot of enjoyment out of this. But the reality is, these people just left all this crap out here in this beautiful little valley. And that is not cool. I ended up walking down this pretty nice road from the mill, looking for that trailer. And guess what? Here it is. Oh wow, it looks like a doozy. How cool of a setting is this? I mean, your little trailer right by this beautiful Joshua tree. This awesome sort of pine and sage country. Really a pretty spot if it wasn't for that toxic mill, which is actually out of sight from us right now, but it's right behind that rise. But not knowing that was there, you would just think you were living in paradise. It's a really interesting mix of Joshua trees and pine trees up here. I love it. I mean, the paint job alone is worth loving. Let's see what's inside. Okay, well, there's two doors. This one and this one, but I'm going to go on this side. Because, I don't know, for whatever reason, it just called to me. Oh, man, it's messed up inside. Ugh. Gotta hold our breath. Oh, wow, look at these cool chairs, though. Oh, man, those old chairs are so cool. <sighs> if I wasn't an ethical person, I would be very tempted to take them, even though they're I mean, the upholstery is in decent shape. I just, I'm a sucker for this paisley. Oh, so cool. Look, they had a little side table and a couch that maybe made out into a bed or maybe it was just a couch. Ugh, I wouldn't want anything to do with it now. And then let's see, they had their little kitchen. And then I'm assuming there was a bedroom in the back there. Hey, and look, a furnace. <laughs> International, wow. You would definitely want a furnace up here. It gets cold. I mean, it's, what's today, October 22nd, and it's in the 50s. But uh, last time I explored up here was in February, and there was snow on the ground. It was freezing. <laughs> Here's what they had in the kitchen. Freeze-dried taster's choice. Kern's tomato juice. Boy, I gotta be real careful in here because this floor is unspeakable. There is so much rat poop in here. I don't want to get a hantavirus. You're just with the key to not getting hantavirus is to not breathe dust. I'm gonna try to not stir up any dust. That being said, I really want to see this magazine. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw this magazine outside and let it kind of air out while we explore this, and then I'll check it out when we go outside. Look how cool the stove is, man. It's an old does it say palway? I never heard of a palway stove. Interesting. But I mean, if you pulled that out of here and polished it up, it's probably a really nice stove. What if there's anything in the oven? Nope. Oh man, no. Close there. Shoo. Holding my breath, I don't want to breathe in here. Well, this is a huge cupboard. That must have been for our microwave or something. Oh no. Hmm. Blah. Nothing left in here. But the wood is still in such nice shape. Okay, here was the bedroom. Emphasis on the was. Oh, but it was actually pretty cute. A little curtain on the window and that cool light. <laughs> Curtains are a trip. And then the view out that window. Let's see if we can check out the view. Yep, beautiful view. Oh, lay in bed in here all day. And some kind of weird little ball down here. I wonder if they had a dog. Well, they did have a beautiful shag carpet, I can say that. Okay, this was the medicine chest from the bathroom. Somehow it ended up in here. It's empty. And then this is a chest of drawers, I guess. Well, it's empty anyways. Oh, God, I gotta boil myself after this. Look, there was even like a little vanity here. Somebody had a... It was like they had a little candle there. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, wow. Very cunning design here. Oh, look. Door into the bathroom. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a medicine cabinet already in here. Weird. Wonder why they had two. 
Okay, well, there's some baby wipes in there that don't look that old. But for the love of God, who lived here? This thing, this is pretty scary. I have filmed some pretty creepy showers in my day. This is right up there. I think the creepiest shower I filmed was in that video I made in New Mexico, the Rocky Mountain House of Horror. <laughs> Look at the hole that looks right into the... Oh, that was that cupboard that I thought a microwave might have been in. Weird. But yeah, like I was saying, the creepiest shower I ever filmed was in probably in that video. So check it out if you're into creepy showers. Oh look, and this is cool too. It has a screen door for those nice summer days. Ugh, I'm getting out of here. Blah! Ooh, fresh air. And I say fresh with a grain of salt because there's still all that toxic stuck stuff over the hill. Ugh. All right, let's check out this magazine. Okay, it's so crusty. I can't really flip through it, but it's a McCall's magazine from March of 77. Well, that pretty much fits with the other dates we've been seeing here. Who had a McCall's magazine way up here? You know, this is so sad to think of some woman who lived way up here in this trailer. Oh man, look, relive that, well, here's the top. Remember when you first fell in love? Relive that special excitement every time you read a Harlequin romance. Okay, I've read some Harlequin romances and they are depressing. I don't know about that. God, but speaking of depressing, <laughs> the woman who lived in this trailer probably had a pretty depressing life. Oh, look. Wow. This trailer came all the way from Kern County. That's like by Bakersfield. It's a long way from here. Okay, there's one last thing I wanted to explore before I leave this site, and that is a mine attic. I wasn't able to get in that one because it was graded off but Larry scouted out another one that we were able to get inside. I'm not sure it goes back very far, but we thought we would at least investigate and see if there's anything interesting back here. Anything good in there, Larry? I don't know. You can definitely get through. Okay, well, what about down this tunnel? Oh, hey, here we go. Guess we're going this way. Yikes, look how low overhead this is. Is it worth me scrambling all the way back there? Not really. Oh good, save myself the trip. Holy shit. Is it cool? Let's get out of here. Well, what about down this tunnel? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yikers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lead the way. This one, this one looks pretty doable. This kind of reminds me of the video I did of the Dutch cleanser mine. Here's if you're into. Stuff. See this stuff? Oh, what is that? It's like poop and peep. Poop and peep? Poop and peep. Oh, I thought it was some valuable mineral I got. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it was gold. Yikes, look at this. Anyone ever want to go into the bowels of hell? It's right here. Yeah, if we went down there, there's no coming back out of it. Oh my gosh, we're too close to the edge already. Let's get out of here. I don't know. Look, there's our only little light of the outside world. At least we know we can That's find our way back. Looking, isn't it? Very eerie, but beautiful. It's like golden light. Oh, wow. Okay, so there wasn't really anything that interesting back in these tunnels, but I'm sure glad I went in here because you know me. I'm very thorough. And although I enjoyed exploring the mill and that trailer and all of the outbuildings, I just wouldn't have felt like I did a thorough explore without going in at least one of the mines. Cool place, great day, and a great explore.